See the game more clearly with high-definition spectacle lenses from Norville Opticians. Well, this is Lewis Lobo then on your first senior contract. Lewis, congratulations. You must be delighted to have put pen to paper. Yeah, very happy. Um, like you say, first senior contract. Pleased to get it. Worked hard, especially this year. My last year in the academy, being asked to train with the first team in, in the full first team squad. Uh, it's nice to get out there and when David came up to me and with the offer, I was you know, very happy to take it and stay here for the next two years. And when you're making that step up from the rung of being on the academy, the next rung, how big a leap is it? Um, it is a big leap, but the way the way the academy's run, it, it's done very well. So you're slowly integrated to start with, and then you know they they're not they don't just throw you in if you're not good enough. It is really step by step and then when you are ready there's there's no reason why you shouldn't be in there whether age size ability it's not it's just if you're ready you're ready and uh, the boys are quite good at you know getting you involved as well so it's nice to be involved fully and that involvement I mean, there's some stiff competition around the back row isn't it your preferred position number eight ben morgan sioni callum of phony yeah. and uh, gareth evans as well how are you going to compete against them um just you know take it week by week do like to think i offer certain aspects that are different to those um, and then try and enhance those and work on what you need to work on to get ahead of those, those boys. Obviously you got your crack this season away at Newcastle, how important was it that you know, if you like that big breakthrough was in a win as well? Yeah, just, just getting a chance, I, I saw all, all I've asked for over the last sort of six months is a chance, I know given a chance I'll prove what I can do and then like that first game, coach just said give them a reason not to not, not not to drop you and then that's why I played in the second game against Saracens um, so just keep doing that get your opportunities play well and give them a reason not to drop you What's the aim for the next two years then? Where can you be in 24 months time? Uh, the aim is to in the next sort of 12 months to establish in the 23 and then after that you just got to keep keep progressing on getting that starting team um, just a any progression you know more game time each year is is a what you know, big thing for me. Just keep up in the game time, up in the game time, and then, like, like I say, try and get in that match day 23 every week. How hard has it been since all of the players came back from the World Cup? Because obviously, at the start of the season, there was that opportunity, but now I imagine the competition's gone up another notch. Yeah, and that, that's been shown in training. You know, training's been very physical, very niggly. Boys going at each other, which is good. A good thing, which is is proving that selection and you know making selection hard for the coaches. Um, going into the week weekend, it gives the boys great preparation on your Tuesday and your Thursday, which is you know our physical days. Um, and it's nice knowing that if you're starting at the weekend, you've had a good, strong week training because of the competition and you're the one that's come out on top if you're starting that weekend. And having been around the club and the academy for a while, where, where do you feel the club is going as a whole? Because obviously, you know, David Humphreys is trying to build something here long term. Yeah, j just in the short term that I've been here, um, the club's definitely moving on, moving upwards in the right direction. You know, we've got a great squad of players now, great set of coaches running right from first team down in the academy. Um, that includes S and C medical, r you know, the rugby staff. So to have those facilities and the staff around you, it, there's only one way the club's going, and that's up. Exciting times ahead. Then, what's the buzz like amongst the younger players who are your contemporaries? And you're thinking, right, actually, we want to make it here. Yeah, it's it's, it's very good because we've seen over the last few years the likes of uh, you know Ross and that that just given a chance. David's not David Laurie. They're not afraid to um, give the young boys a chance and stick with them if if you are doing doing the job that they want. You know? They don't ask so much. They are, all they ask for is you to go out, do your job, and beat your opposite man and if they do that they'll stick with you so there's a lot of confidence shown in the young lads rather than buying in players from elsewhere.